So today we're going to talk about vitamin D, bile, and your gallbladder, and an interesting connection. Now vitamin D is probably one of the most important vitamins, yet it is one of the most common vitamin deficiencies on this planet. Vitamin D has a lot to do with bone growth. If you're deficient as an infant, you could develop scoliosis, kyphosis, which is hunchback, flat feet, all sorts of structural problems, and sleep disorders, blood sugar problems, immune problems, inflammatory conditions, specifically like arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and all the autoimmune diseases. Vitamin D is involved in cardiovascular problems, especially high blood pressure. One simple remedy to drop blood pressure is to take enough vitamin D. You would want about 30 to 40,000 IUs per day. Your brain needs vitamin D to work. Now, in your mind, you might think uh, you're getting enough vitamin D from your diet, which it's almost impossible to achieve. Now, vitamin D is present in fish, fatty fish, uh, maybe a little bit in mushrooms, cod liver oil, and a few other foods, but it is almost impossible to get your vitamin D from your diet. Now, sun, you can definitely get vitamin D, but if you're older, if you have certain health problems like diabetes or your skin is a little bit darker, you're going to need a lot more sun to achieve your uh, requirements for vitamin D. Then what do you do in the winter? Well, you would take supplements. But what I want to talk about is number three, absorption of vitamin D. There are other nutrients that help absorb vitamin D, like magnesium, B6, and even vitamin K2. But if you have malabsorption, you're going to have a very difficult time absorbing vitamin D. So the inside of the colon is damaged from maybe years of antibiotics or junk food. That alone is going to make you deficient. If you have some type of inflammatory condition, you're going to have a huge barrier of pulling in that vitamin D. But the other thing I want to mention is the gallbladder. Normally, your liver makes bile and it flows down and gets stored into the gallbladder. So the gallbladder concentrates bile. But bile is necessary to act as a detergent to help you extract fat-soluble vitamins from your food. Without a gallbladder, you're going to have a difficult time absorbing vitamin D from the diet, or if there's gallstones, or if there's a lack of bile itself, you're not going to be able to absorb vitamin D efficiently. And that could come from many things, including a fatty liver, which a lot of people have. Then we have B, which is viral infections. Certain viruses have a strategy of downgrading the vitamin D receptor, the VDR. Uh, apparently, they are very intelligent, and they know that we need vitamin D desperately to make sure our immune system works. But what they do is they start downgrading this receptor. So now the vitamin D can't get absorbed. Cortisol, which comes from stress and certain medications, as in prednisone, cortisol cream, can block the vitamin D receptor too. So that's another barrier. Then we have something called polymorphism. Now, what is that? That is a mutation or an alteration in the gene that is part of this receptor. So now that you know the barriers, let's talk about some solutions. But I want to actually teach you a new word. We know that VDR stands for vitamin D receptor, but the word agonist, it's something that connects that makes everything work. And the opposite of an agonist would be an antagonist, okay? Something that would block the function. What would be a VDR agonist? Well, vitamin D in higher amounts. So when you take higher amounts, and I'm talking 30, 40, 50, 60, 70,000 IUs of vitamin D, that can sometimes override this problem right here and even this problem right here. If there's a problem with a downgraded receptor or some blockage, sometimes you just need to take more. Next one is Benicar. This is a medication which I'm not recommending, but there's an interesting protocol called the Marshall Protocol. I'll put a link down below in which they're using this medication, which is a medication they use for blood pressure to help the absorption of vitamin D to help treat autoimmune disorders. And of course, my viewpoint is 
this. Is there some alternative to medication that can be used as a VDR agonist? Well, guess what will do it? Bile salts. Bile salts are a natural VDR agonist. So bile salts will help the absorption of vitamin D. And I will put a link down below. So anytime you're dealing with inflammatory conditions or very resistant conditions that you know will respond to vitamin D, but there's some type of barrier, you can also add some purified bile salts to enhance the absorption simply because bile can act as a VDR agonist. Thanks for watching.